Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry back with a quick preview overview of the Horus Heresy Mechanicum Tagmata Army List book. As you can see here, we just got this in from Forge World. We're pretty stoked about it. This book is pretty much everything you need to play as the Mechanicum minus the Skitar. So that, unfortunately, they're not in this book. They are referenced in the fluff in the book, but they're not part of this codex. However, this does cover using the core army list of the Tagmata and the uh, Cybernetica, and then also also the Ordo Reductor. So you've got a, a bunch of army lists in this book, so if you are playing Admech, this is definitely a book you're going to want to check out. So we'll just jump right on in here. They have some sweet cover art, as you see here. It pretty much sums it up. You've got your big Knight Legions, you've got, uh, you've got your uh, Cybernetica there, and then the Ordo Reductor with the battle tanks and stuff like that. They're the big siege guys that bring the big bada boom in. So uh, it's a beautiful book straight off the bat. I mean, it's done by Forge World, so you expect that high Forge World quality. I want to point this out real quick too. Uh, it's got the uh, the silver leaf stuff on the edge here on all the pages, so it's super fancy. Uh, there's the back of it. it. Talks about all the different army lists in there as well. So tons of stuff, uh, all the different HQs, elites, troops, fast attack, dedicated transports, heavy support, fortification, all the different Lords of War, there's a bunch of those, Legio Cybernetica Appendix, Oral Reductor Appendix for their army list, and some Titan Legion good stuff, because everybody needs Titans, right? So again, it's a beautiful book, uh, table of contents, run through all that. We'll, we'll, we'll fly through this book real quick, because again, this is a quick overview. Uh, I am not gonna read off all the rules, because I would highly encourage you to buy this book. So, uh, here we start off, here's the uh, talking about Omnicide, just talks about their feudal order, order and how they work. They are again are kind of the military arm of the uh, the uh, the Admech guys here. So they are what happens when a Forge World decides to go to war. This is who they call in, and this is the army list that they use. And again, they use knights, they use uh, the Cybernetica, they use dudes just to blow stuff up. So they have pretty much everybody. This is a nice page that kind of lays out uh, how the Forge World kind of forces are kind of organized and the different offices, uh, how they kind of just how they're formed. So you've got the Order Reductor here, uh, the Titan Legions, uh, you've got this guitar right here in this line. Then just uh, this is kind of where the Tagmata Omnisaya guys have fallen. Basically, uh, uh, Magos takes over uh, a Forge World or, or part of a Forge World and says, hey, we're going to war. That's who's leading it is the, the Magos. And uh, they go to town, so pretty nice. They show you exactly how everything is laid out. So, um, and then skipping ahead a little bit, I want to skip to uh, the force org chart, and we'll go backtrack a couple of pages. But this is basically the force organization charts for the the different army lists available in this book. So you've got uh, battles in the Age of Darkness force org chart, which is basically your primary. Um, list I guess you want to go off of. It's a pretty standard one. You've got your HQ up to three. Uh, you've got up to six troops, up to four elites, up to three fast attack, up to three heavy support, and you got an optional fortification, optional Lord of War, and then an allied detachment option. Uh, we have the optional Onslaught Force Work chart, which is slightly different. Um, they have more elites and some more heavy support, and then up, up to two Wars of War, which is pretty cool. And then over here, optional uh, Castellan Force Org chart. This one is, uh, again, no fast attack, or one fast attack, really. So slim down here, but then you have an option up to four fortica fortifications, one Lord of War, which is pretty mean in and of itself. And then the optional Leviathan Force Organization chart. Uh, this is just a, a, a trim down chart, but you start with a Lord of War primary. And then, of course, each one has their own special rules, which, again, I'm not going to go through um, just because I would encourage you to purchase this book. So... <laughs> Uh, we've got a bunch of updated rules, updated points values, uh, recommended points values there that kind of helps tweak and balance some of the fun stuff here. Um, this is an interesting chart here. A lot of people have been uh, kind of pushing for this uh, in regular play as well. It's the 25% rule for Lords of War. Uh, this means that the maximum points value in a single Lords of War choice in Battles of the Age of Darkness game for some common army sizes 25% of 2,500 points, and it scales up from there, all the way 3,500 is a 875 point Lord of War. So you can see some there, there's some uh, uh, suggested internal balance there. Again, just uh, yeah, for this stuff. I want to call it real fast too. Uh, this book in and of itself can be played as either a Traitor, traitor Legion or Loyalist. Um, we've got all of the allies matrix here, so you can go either way with your, uh, with your forces. Uh, and again, the sub lists um, have a slightly 
less units per sublist. So if you run a Cybernetica or order a Doctor list, you have slightly less choices, but you have uh, buffs for those choices that you do have. So they, they do get better for that. So, uh, But this is pretty neat. You've got the Mechanicum right here. The black dots are fellow warriors. The gold dots are sworn brothers. Uh, silver dots are distrusted allies. And the red dots are by the Emperor or War Master's command. So they'll work together, but they won't like it. So you can see that chart there. Um, the Mechanicum right here, they've got a, quite a few gold dots and a lot of black dots. So it looks like most of the time um, they're going to work just fine with most Marines or, or, and they don't really have any issues uh, with the Imperial Army, obviously. But uh, pretty much either side can take stuff from this book. So if you're playing a Loyalist chapter, Loyalist, or excuse me, Loyalist Legion <laughs> or a Traitor Legion, you've got uh, access to the uh, Admet guys, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the um, um, actual army list stuff in here as far as unit entries and things like that. So we have the, the Magos Prime here. This is your one of your HQ options. He is, uh, he's pretty cool. Uh, he's two wounds base. If you get the Arch Magos Prime, he's got three wounds. But uh, all the different upgrade options, they have a ton of different weapons and all that fun stuff. Uh, that you can really make them into beat sticks as far as uh, a single HQ choice. I mean, they're they're not as good as some marine hqs but they're they're not slouches either so uh but that's some of the cool stuff there they have a bunch of extra special rules uh so yeah pretty neat stuff around the board there and again this is a typical forge rule layout for these books if you've seen them before um pretty pretty standard stuff here but they look really pretty they're a little bit more um uh more information than a a, a games workshop codex but uh just as much uh, love and put stuff put into this book from Forge World. So pretty cool stuff. Again, reminds me a lot of the other 30k books they have. Uh, this is a, a special character here as well. So cool. Just run, run through these. I don't want to show off all the stuff. I want to kind of focus on some of the artwork and things because I don't want to show off all the unit entries. But this is really cool. Talking about a uh, Olskin uh, Thalax. This is pretty sweet. These guys are uh, the Thalax co cohorts. Are some of my favorite units just because they're the kind of AI robots um, and they uh, kick a lot of butt. So, uh, yeah, moving along here, there's some of the armor, the armor uh, conveyor. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. He's got the big gun. Yeah, sweet stuff all around. Um, there's some flyers as well. There's the, we've got, let me go back here, Rashid Fleet, Primaris Lightning Strike Fighters. Uh, so, they do have the, the lightnings also available from Forge World, obviously. So, pretty cool uh, flyer units there. Let's see, Orbital Shuttle. And I haven't really flipped through all of the book yet, so I'm kind of going through this with you guys. Going through this with you. They have a Thanatar, which is pretty cool. These guys are pretty mean. Uh, strength 8, Tough 8. And uh, I do know some of their weapons pop out. Yeah, AP2. Let's see, the uh, Solex Pattern Heavy Lay. Uh, Liz Cannon, 16 strength, strength 10, AP2, Heavy 1. So, even better than normal. Uh, we have a Graviton Ram, which is Strength 10 AP1, or you can use it as a template Strength, uh, basically, uh, basically wounds on, uh, roll to wound, non-vehicle cotton effect, must roll equal to or even under the Strength on a D6. So, roll under your Strength to wound, it's AP4. But, uh, they have some other cool weapons available to them, too, is the uh, Thanatars across the board. Plasma Injector, 18 inch range, Strength 8, AP2. Heavy two shot. I mean, <laughs> plasma weapons. Uh, they will kill Marines dead. So, <laughs> a, a lot of that stuff. Uh, they have the Castellum Stronghold, which I've actually got to play a game using one of these, which is really cool. Um, but uh, this has got all of the full rules, full rules to use one of these. Uh, the Castellum Stronghold. So it kind of marks out. We when I played, we didn't really know where some of the emplacements were, just because we didn't have uh, access to some of the rules. So. But this is, this is where those rules are. So you can see them all nicely printed out there for you um, on the previous page. All the different upgrades start at 275 points, plus all the different upgrades. Uh, pretty cool stuff. It was actually a really fun game too. We have a bat rip of it. <laughs> uh, let's see, the macro engine there. That's pretty sweet. Just all the cool Forge World toys and goodies. And then we have uh, Mechanicum Indentured Knight. So that's pretty cool. It's got the crazy claw. Um, I don't, is this a special unit? I don't know, but he is a Lord of War. So, <laughs> he's got the Volkite weapon here, Graviton Gun, Reaper Chain Sword, 
Uh, Hecaton Siege Claw. Oh, that's what that is. So this is a Strength D weapon, AP2, oh, which is kind of funny. Uh, it's a melee wrecker. So pretty good stuff across the board there. So I'll keep going here. Just more knights there. Legio Cybernetica, this is what this whole section is. Uh, this is their battle cohort uh, appendix. If you want to run a Legio Cybernetica, that's how you do that You uh, from from uh, these unit choices here. Order Reductor, Army List, how to use them. A little bit of background about what they are. Again, they're the siege guys that, that uh, ruin <laughs> buildings and everything like that. So um, this is how to use the Order Reductor and their Army List. Titan Legions, everybody loves looking at Titans. So check these at bad boys out. We've got the uh, Warhound Scout Titan, a Reaver Battle Titan. Do we have the big boy? Yes, Warlord Battle Titan. Woo, 2,750 points of pain and suffering coming at you. A big old model too. So <laughs> pretty cool, all these different special rules, your extra meltdown, uh, catastrophic table da <laughs> damage table, yeah. Titanic explosion. Woo! That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, and then we have different battles. Uh, this is what was cool about this book, too, is it not only has all the army list stuff in it, we also have uh, some new deployment maps, which is pretty cool. So, how to deploy, how to set up a different battle. Just some alternate deployments is always fun. And then, of course, we also have uh, different missions. I believe there's six extra missions that you can play. Uh, so, it's always fun to play the, uh, the something different, you know, instead of the standard book missions. And then just the war gear and special rules. There's a ton of stuff in here with all the different war gear the options that are in the in this book. And again, across the uh, Admech army list, some of those are, are kind of the same, some of them slightly different. I know, like, uh, didn't you cite here, uh, it uh, grants that Thalax reduces the benefits of any cover save my opponents has by minus two. So a four up becomes a six up, and a five up being ignored completely. So uh, it's pretty cool stuff, all the different weapons. Um, how they all work and then we get into the uh, age of darkness uh weapons of the mechanicum so you can see here a ton of extra weapons and then even more uh just the different melee weapons and you know apocalyptic missile launchers and all that fun stuff so but yeah that's a pretty quick uh preview slash overview of this book again i don't want to stop and show off every little thing because it is a really good book it's worth the buy even if you're not playing mechanicum for the rules um if you're a 30k fan this is this should be high on your priority list because again, traders or loyalists can play with uh, Mechanicum. It's always nice to know um, who can what what the opponent can bring, and then also you have access to this stuff too, no matter who you are uh, in the 30k universe. So it's cool stuff. Anyway, that's a quick uh, overview here at Bulls. Um, real quick too, I forgot to call out the the price on this is only 32 pounds. So compared to a regular Codex, I think the Marine one was 30. Five, maybe 33 pounds so as far as the value goes and, and a deal from Forge World this is pretty much the same price as any other codex uh, maybe even a little bit cheaper compared to some so uh, keep that in mind I know Forge World just the name kind of scares some people some of their wa wallets start walking away <laughs> when you say Forge World but this this is not that bad honestly it's it's pretty similar to uh, uh, to a codex pricing nowadays so uh, definitely a great buy great value so do you want to call that out Again, Horse Heresy Mechanicum Tagmata Army List. Thumbs up for Bulls. Go check it out. This is Adam Harry signing off. Have a good one.